Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Cheryl. Thank you very much for... Oh, the camera's crooked. Thank you very much for joining me. If you're a new viewer, hello, welcome. This is normal for me to have it all crooked and not set up right. Welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Okay, this is all. Let's move the camera a bit. Is that better? That's a little bit better. Hi! I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> I'm a bit wired. I'm a bit hyper. So, you know, ADHD here. I'm getting a bit hyper, which means I'll be talking a lot because when I get hyper, I talk. So, welcome. <laughs> I just have some water. I also have some tea. Today, we're going to do a tag. So, I, okay, again, the camera's crooked. Hang on. Is that better? That's not really that better. I don't know. Sorry. So, um, you're going to have to live with it being a bit crooked. I mean, my, it's the computers. I use my webcam and it's kind of settled on my pillow and my pillow's kind of crooked. So, we'll have to deal with it. So, anyways, hello. So, we're doing a tag video. I was unofficially tagged. <laughs> By Ro from TBR, the TBR Tang, uh, I was going to say Tango, that's not right, the TBR Tackle. And uh, her name is Ro, she's a great YouTuber, booktube, she just started her booktube, I don't know, a few months ago, maybe a year ago, I'm not sure, but she's wonderful, subscribe to her if you haven't already, um, I will link her channel below, she is wonderful. And, um, she did a tag video, and she didn't tag me in the video, but then in the comments, she tagged me. So, we're gonna do it. Now, I just can't get over how crooked this is. I just, it's bothering me. Hello. <laughs> okay. So, the tag is, oh, I forget what it's called. Cozy, would you rather, I think? Cozy edition? Something like that. The original creator of the tag was Cozy with a Cup of Tea, which I love that channel name, Cozy's with a Cup of Tea. It's just wonderful. So I will link her below. I just found out about her through Rose videos. So I subscribed to her. She's wonderful. I did watch one of her videos and she's wonderful. So I subscribed to her and I forget her name. But yeah, I will link her below. She's wonderful too. So, um, we're going to do a Would You Rather Cozy Edition. So, cozy mysteries are one of my favorite genres. I really love cozy mysteries. If you don't know what a cozy mystery is, what it is, is it's a more mystery than thriller. Um, and it involves usually a small town. Not always, but most of the time it's small town. And the person who solves the murder is an amateur sleuth. So what she is is she's just a normal person who usually owns a store or works at a store or a coffee shop, um, a restaurant, and, and a yarn store, something like that. And she just happens to solve murders. And the murders are never grisly. They, they state that there's a dead body, but it's not graphic. There's not usually a lot of cuss words in the books, which I love. Once in a while there is, but not a lot. And um, very little romantic scenes. There is romance usually in the books, but there it's closed doors. So there's no um, graphic sexual scenes. So um, that's a cozy. Um, what else was I going to say about it? I just love cozies. I think they're great. They're not, like, usually I can figure out who the killer is halfway through the book, but I still really enjoy them, and um, there are tons of cozy mysteries out there if you want to try them. So this take, you take 22 different cozy mystery series, and you write down the first book of each of the series, and then you pick two, and then there's 10 questions to ask. I've got them written down here. And then you choose which series you would do for that question. So let's get started. So we're just going to mix these up because I just put them in and I put them in an order. So we're going to mix them up. Okay, we're going to pick the first question is, I can do this. I'm just really out of it. 
The first question is, which cozy would you make into a movie? So there's a lot of cozies that have been made into TV movies from Hallmark or TV shows. But let's see what I have. And excuse the um, messy writing. <laughs> Here we have, ooh, A Bindy Chance by Jessica Brimer. And her series is the Messy Bookshop series. Jessica is a friend of mine, and she has two books. She's about to have her third book. I'm just beta reading her third book right now. And um, it's a cozy mystery series about a woman named Garnet Stone. And she, um, in the first book, her boss dies. And she works at a bookstore, the Messy Bookshop, which is just a bookstore that's very messy. <laughs> And, um, the new, in, the person who inherited her, I think it's her niece, inherited the store, and she comes, and she wants to close the bookstore, so Garnet works to, um, I'm not very good at synopsis, I'm so sorry, but she works to keep the bookstore open, and there's a murder, and it's just, it's so good. So, um, next we have... Mm. Cruel World, Monica Ferris. That is the Needlecraft Mysteries. Now, Monica Ferris has since passed away, but she wrote quite a few books in the Needlecraft series. This is a book, I don't remember character names very often, but uh, her main character is a woman who works at a uh, cross-stitch store. Um, I think it's just a fiber store. It's got cross-stitch and knitting and stuff like that. And she sells murders. And it's a wonderful series. I'm sad that Monica passed away because I think she passed away in 2013 or something like that. So the question was, which movie would you think would be a good, which book would you think would be a good movie? So we have The Binding Chance, The Messy Bookshop series, and Cruel World, the Monica Ferris series. Or it's written by Monica Ferris. Um... Obviously, I think The Messy Bookshop would be a great series, a great movie because it, you know, it has books and it would be fun. Um, Cruel World would be good too because it's got fiber. Oh my goodness. I don't know. It's my two who loves books and fiber, fiber arts. I mean, that's my two favorite things. Um... Okay, well... I'm going to go, I mean, I love Jessica. She's a great friend of mine, but I'm going to go with Cruel World by Monica Ferris just because I think it would be fun to see a series with a movie with fiber arts represented in the in the store in the movie. I think it would be fun. Although this would be fun. I don't know. I'm going to pick Cruel World. We're just going to go for it. We're just going to pick that. Okay. The next question, which cozy would you use to build a fire in an emergency? Oh my goodness, I love all these cozies. I picked a lot that I've read over the last 10 years or so. So, I love them all. I don't want to I don't want to use any to, to build a fire. That would be terrible. Okay, we have Oh no. Buried in a Good Book by Tamara Berry, which is by the Book Mystery series. Okay, that one I read for the first time last year. I read the whole series so far. The three books. I should show you what I'm doing. I'm just mixing it up. There's one. Jane and Daggers by Donald Bain. Murder, She Wrote Mystery Series. Now this one, I haven't read Jane and Daggers, but it's the first one in the series. I've read a lot of Murder, She Wrote Mysteries. Um, it's my favorite TV show and my favorite, I don't know if it's my favorite Cozy Mystery series, but it's my favorite TV show. So, I'm currently reading a bunch of these for a video, so you can look forward to that. But, um, which would I use to light a, to start a fire in an emergency? Oh my goodness. I don't want to start any of them on fire. I think I would have to pick the Tamara Berry book. Um, because this is comfort. This, this TV show and this book series is comfort to me. And I just, I, I would die inside if I burned it. It just, 
I couldn't do that. So, <laughs> although the Tamara Berry series is wonderful too. It's wonderful. Oh, I should tell what they're about. So, we got the wrong one. The Murder, She Wrote is about an author, a thriller author, Jessica Fletcher, who... <coughs> oh, sorry. A thriller author who solves murders in a small town of Cabot Cove. She um, helps out a lot of the police, and she travels, and it's just, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful series. And if you haven't seen the show with the late, great Angela Lansbury, may she rest in peace. Um, I don't know why it went like that, but may she rest in peace. It was sad when she died. Um, anyways, if you haven't seen that TV show, it's wonderful. The acting's not the best, but it's it's a wonderful show. And then it, Buried in a Good Book is about a another author, actually, which is weird. A thriller author who uh, her grandfather passes away, and she goes... To, with her teenage daughter, Gertie, and I don't know why I remember the name Gertie, but I just, I love the good name Gertrude, and she goes with her to uh, the cabin where her grandpa lived, and as soon as they get there, like in the first or second chapter, they hear a big boom, and body parts fall on them. So this one is a bit more gruesome than most cozies, but still a really good series, and what I love is the relationship between her and the chief, because the policeman in the inspector in her her thriller series is very much like the chief police officer whatever you call him in the small town and it's just wonderful i love that series okay question we're only on question three it's already been 12 minutes my goodness which cozy would you read again in one weekend which cozy would you read again in one weekend Okay, we have Six Sweets Under by Sarah Fox. This is the True Confections series. There's only two books right now out by that in that series. I do have some authors in here twice, but different series, just to let you know. And we have, oh, this is easy. Murdered Peacocks, Donna Andrews, which is the Meg Langso series. Six Sweets Under is about a main character. Again, I don't remember her name, but she um, runs a confectionery, confections suite. I don't remember it, actually. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I don't remember much about it. I listened to an audio. It wasn't my favorite, so I would not reread this one. Sarah Fox is an excellent author. I really enjoy her books. I just, I don't remember much about this one. However, Murder with Peacocks, Meg Langslow series, is about Meg Langslow, who, um, if you don't know, is my favorite mystery series, cozy mystery series. So this is easy. I would definitely reread this one in a weekend. I would listen to the audiobooks. The audiobooks are narrated by... Bernadette Dunn. Don't ask me why I remember that name. I do. And they are like chef's kiss. They're wonderful. They're excellent. And this is about Meg Langslow, who um, is a fun character. She lives on a, she lives in Care Philly and Car Philly. I can't remember how to pronounce it. And she lives, um, Okay, that's kind of a spoiler. She, <laughs> her whole family is just fun. They are, she is, she herself is very relaxed. She has a notebook that tells her what to do, basically. And she keeps everything in that notebook, all her plans, everything. And then her father is hilarious. Her mother is hilarious. The whole series is just hilarious. It is so funny. Each of the books the title pun, it has to do with a bird. There's lots of animals in the books. They are just fun series, and I would recommend them. So that's what I would reread in a weekend. Which cozy would you pick to move to the town it takes place in? Now, this will be hard because I don't really remember towns of where they take place. So um, we have Chocolate Chip Cookie Murder by Joanne Fluke, the Hannah Swenson series. This is probably the first series I ever read 
in Cozy Mystery, so I had to include that. And then we have Last Wool and Testament by Molly McRae, the Haunted Yarn Shop series. So Hannah Swenson is a book by uh, Joanne Fluke. It is a series. It is about Hannah Swenson who owns the Cookie Jar, which is a um, cookie baking place, a cafe type thing. And she sells cookies. And each of the books have recipes for different cookies. It's wonderful. She solves murders. There's a love triangle that not everybody loves. And it goes on forever. There's like tons and tons of books in the series. I'm kind of over it by now. But I did enjoy it when I was reading it. And I probably will continue reading the series when it comes out. I just, it's not my favorite series. So, that said, Last Will and Testament by Molly McRae is a audiobooks I listened to years ago. The Haunted Shop Mysteries. Um, the go It's about a woman who owns a, ha um, a yarn shop. And there's a ghost that haunts that shop, and she is hilarious. She's so fun, and um, I love that series. So the town I would want to live in. So Hannah Swenson takes place in a little town. Um, I forget where. Um, sorry, that was a tick. I have Tourette's, if you don't know. Um, I don't remember where it takes place. Molly McRae's series takes place in kind of a, what I would imagine as kind of a rural town, um, kind of a small town out in the bone, in the booties, kind of booties, boonies <laughs> kind of thing. So I think I would pick that just because, I don't know, it just sounds nice. The way Molly McRae describes the, the town just sounds nice. And I like the people in the town don't know if I'd like a haunted yarn shop, although the ghost is funny, so maybe, but I just, I think I would love to, I would pick the haunted yarn shop. Okay, I would recommend those audiobooks as well for both of those series. Oh, the question, number five, which cozy would you pick to never read another in the series? We have... The Secret Book and Scone Society by Ellery Adams, which the first, I know it's cut there, the first book is called The Secret Book and Scone Society, and it's what the series is called. Death of a Schoolgirl by Joanna Campbell Slan, which is the Jane Eyre Chronicles, which is a series I've been reading. I started last year. So Ellery Adams writes quite a few different mystery series, cozy mysteries. The Secret Book and Scone Society follows a few ladies who phone, form a friendship and a kind of society um, where they go through life. There's um, mysteries, of course. There's murders. It's a very realistic, hard-hitting series. It's more... Um, it's got a mystery, a murder mystery in each of the books, but it's very much... Um, relies on the woman's lives and the things going on in their lives. Each one of them has a secret in their background, and they reveal that in each of the books. Also, the main character can, um, I believe, put things in her scones. Some magical power. I don't remember exactly. Oh, no, she can... She knows what book is perfect for whoever comes into the store. That's what it is. I think. I'm not sure. Some kind of magical power that she has. I don't remember exactly. And then we have Death of School Girl by Joanna Campbell Slan, the Jane Eyre Chronicles. This is about a, a character from Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. It is the main character, Jane, who uh, solves murders. And I love that series. So the question was, which cozy would you pick to never read another in the series? I think I would pick The Secret Scone, Book and Scone Society. I like that series, but it's not my favorite. And I'm really enjoying the Jane Eyre Chronicles. Although I don't think that she's writing this series anymore. But I still have two more books in that series to read. So I would, I would stop reading The Secret Book and Scone Society. Not because it isn't good. It's very good. But I, if I had to choose, it would be that. 
Next, which cozy would you pick to eat? Pick to eat every food mentioned in the story. All right. Well, we've already gone through the Hannah Swenson. I would eat all the cookies. <laughs> so we have 12 Slays of Christmas by Jacqueline Frost, Christmas Tree Farm. Um, Jacqueline Frost is, is a pen name for Julianne Lindsay. And we're running out of these. Let's see. Wine and Punishment, The Literary Pub Mysteries by Sarah Fox. Another Sarah Fox. So, <clears throat> Twelve Slaves of Christmas is about a, a woman who, oh, her parents own a Christmas tree farm, and there's, the whole town is Christmas-based. It's got um, reindeer games, and it's just, it's a fun series. Um, and then there's always a murder, by the way. I mean, all of these have a murder. And then One in Punishment by Sarah Fox is a literary pub mystery. And it's a woman who comes to a small town and opens a pub with a literary theme. So there are um, different drinks and foods that are based on books, titles and books. So... The Christmas Tree Farm has a lot of Christmas treats mentioned in the book series, which I love. But the Literary Pub has... I don't drink alcohol, so maybe I wouldn't go to the pub. But it has foods based on books. It's named after books. How can I say no to that? Okay. Which one? I'm going to say 12 Slaves of Christmas because there's always Christmas snacks mentioned in this series and it just, it, yummy. I love chocolate and Christmas. I mean, look at me. I love chocolate <laughs> and Christmas cookies and stuff like that. So I think I would pick that one. Um, yeah. Then we have, <clears throat> which cozy would you pick to take on a two week vacation as your only book? First of all. Hold the horses here. Who goes on a two-week vacation and brings only one book? I would have to... Uh, I I would judge you a bit if you brought only one book. I mean, seriously, when I go overnight somewhere, I bring like five books. I can't imagine going on a two-week vacation and bringing only one book. I'm sorry, I'm going on a rant, but my golly. Okay. My golly. Since when do I say my golly? Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oops, that was a repeat. It was a binding chance. I've already done that one. Um, Curiosity Thrilled the Cat by Sophie Kelly, The Magical Cat's Mysteries. That is the first book in The Magical Cat's Mysteries by Sophie Kelly. I love those cats, Owen and Hercules, who are magical cats. They can disappear and solve murders and do all these fun things. And they are, they are their own personalities. I just finished a book by Sophie Kelly in that series called Pause to Remember. Loved it. Murder is Binding by Lorna Barrett, which is the Booktown Mysteries. So this one takes place in a book town, which is basically a town full of bookstores, and it's wonderful. Um, what was the question? Which cozy could you pick? Would you pick to take on a two week vacation as your only book? I would have to say Curiosity Thrill the Cat because this series is so fun. I love Owen and Hercules the Cats. The main character, yes, I forget her name. Um, is fun and she talks to her cats and the characters the side characters are fun They're hilarious. They're n how many times have I said hilarious? It's just such a good series and there's a romance that I'm here for in it And it's just it's a wonderful series not to say that the book town mysteries isn't but it's not one I would take as an only book to reread over and over again um, number eight, which cozy would you recommend to someone who has never read a cozy? Hang on, drink your waters, people. 
It's important. Drink your waters. Drink your water. It's important. It not only helps you to stop from coughing when you're doing a video, <laughs> it also is good for your kidneys. And just saying, it's not fun when your kidneys fail. Just saying, I know from experience. Here we have Kitty Confidential by Molly Fitz, which is the Pet Whisper P.I. I forgot to put a parenthesis there. Kitty Confidential. This is a series about a woman who she gets knocked on the head by, I think, a coffee maker. And after that, she can hear her cat. And this cat talks to her, and it's just, and they solve murders together. It's wonderful. I love that series. I've read, it's a short, they're short books. And I've read them on ebook. I've read a few of them. They're just wonderful. What was the question again? I'm so sorry. Which cozy would you recommend to someone who has never read a cozy? Okay, and then number two, we have Mystery in a Mystery. I think I said this wrong. I think it's Murder in the Mystery Suite. I put Mystery in the Mystery Suite by Ellery Adams, the Book Retreat series. I think it's Murder in the Mystery Suite, not Mystery in the Mystery Suite. Um, which book would I recommend to those who have never read a cozy? I think I would recommend Kitty Confidential because it has a sassy cat in it and the cat talks. And if you're not into cozy mysteries, you might be into talking cats and kind of the, that kind of thing. Plus it's a short book. It's a long series, but short books and they're easy to read and fast to get through. So I think I would pick Kitty Confidential by Molly Fitz. That's a Z, by the way. It looks like an S, but that's a Z. Or, as Americans say, Z. It's Z in Canada, okay? All right. And which cozy would you pick to dress and act like the main character? All right. I don't remember main characters very well, as you could tell. On What Grounds by Cleo Coyle, the Coffee House Mystery Series. And A Dark and Stormy Murder by Julia Buckley, the Writer's Apprentice Mystery. So the Cleo Coyle Mystery Series, which is written by Cleo Coyle, it is actually a husband and wife team. And uh, they write... The Coffee House Mystery. It follows um, Claire Cozy. I don't know why I remember her name, but I do. And she runs a coffee shop with her ex husband and her ex husband's mother. And uh, she solves murders. She has a relationship. It's a wonderful series. I just recently read the newest one called um, Bulletproof Barista. In fact, it was the first book I listened to this year. And I loved it. It is a great comfort series for me. And then, because it's one of the ones I listened to at the beginning of my career of listening to or reading Cozy Mysteries. Dark and Stormy Murder by Julia Buckley. The Writer's Apprentice series is about a woman who, um, um, she's a fan of this famous writer, a thriller writer. And her friend tells her that she knows the woman and that... She's looking for uh, someone to help her write her book. So she um, goes and gets the job. And um, no, wait, I got the wrong series. No, I think I got the right series. I've got two different writer series in my, in my head. This one, I think she goes and lives with the woman. And um, there's a murder. I don't remember exactly. Although... I do remember liking the writer aspect of the book and how she was, I think she wrote some, some of the books for the woman. I don't remember exactly, but I would definitely pick this series to act like the main character because I want to be a writer. So definitely easy pick. I would pick that one. Although I do love coffee, so... <laughs> Who knows? 
And then uh, the last question, we're finally on the last question after 30 minutes. Which cozy would you pick to read the next three in the series back to back? Which I have done numerous times. Okay. Especially with audiobooks. Murder, She Knit by Peggy Earhart. Earhart. I don't know how to pronounce that. Knit and Nibble Mysteries. Um, and Bait and Witch by Angela M. Sanders, Witch Way Librarian Series. So the Knit and Nimble series, which is Murder, She Knit, is about a woman who owns a knitting store and she solves murders. I don't remember much about it. It's a series I read many years ago. I haven't listened to the audiobooks since or read the books physically. Um, what was the question? Which would I read three in a row? I would pick the Which Way Librarian series. This is about a woman who is, her last name is Way. And she moves to a small town to get away from a potential murderer or stalker. And um, she goes to the small town. She she becomes the librarian to this old gothic kind of mansion that, that ho holds the library in the small town. And she finds out she's a witch. And it's fun. It is hilarious. It has some deep moving moments. It's got a romance. It's got a murder mysteries in each of the books. And I am actually reading the second book in the series right now. I've read the first and the third. Um, I, I read out of order. <laughs> I read whatever's available at my library. And I'm loving that series. I would definitely read these three back to back. Definitely. So, Bait and Witch, The Witch Way Librarian by Angela M. Sanders. I am not going to put, as you've noticed from now on, the pictures of the books up here, but these, actually I will. I'll put the pictures of the books up here. We'll do that. So um, you will see them up there. There. I mean, you would have seen them by now anyways. I'm just trying to decide myself. <laughs> so that is it. So the last thing is to tag someone. This is a, um, originally this tag was created a year ago, so I don't know who hasn't done it. I know, um, okay, I'm going to tag, I haven't thought of who I want to tag. Uh, I just take anyone who wants to do this video, this tag. It is a fun tag. It's a lot of fun. So if you want to do this video, I tag you. Make sure you tag me in your video so that I, I can watch it and, um, Check out the Cozies with a Cup of Tea, I think is her channel name, and Ro from uh, the TBR Tackle. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe. I mean, you can forget to subscribe if you want to. I don't know why I said it that way. If you want to subscribe, I would very much appreciate it. I am... Finally, at over 220 subscribers. I'm very excited about that. So, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of me. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a great day. God bless you and all you do. Bye, guys.